Growing up, music was all around me. There's always a reason to celebrate, and there's always a reason to put on a record. I tried to draw from all the really good things, like the songwriter aspect and the storytelling of country music, the soul from R&B, of course, and a lot of the harmonies and um, tones and warmth of the vocal from gospel. And you just kind of all mix it together and, you know, some of the fun of pop. And so I think that all of those things together create the Reese Palmer sound, which is Southern Soul. The Backport Session is my new project. Um, it's a five song EP. I named it the Backport Sessions because I wanted to pay homage to my great grandmother's house. My great grandmother lived in a mountain town in Georgia called Somerville. She had this small, adorable little, like, cottage house and there was this huge front porch and we used to sit on the porch pretty much all day and all night and she lived down the street from a huge Baptist church and so Sunday mornings when you go outside if you didn't go to church you could sit on her front porch and you could hear just like this amazing singing coming from the church and the radio station in Somerville played everything it played country R&B everything and so I just remember all these sounds and all of this was filtering into my ear into my head into my spirit and I just remember standing on the porch with a sweeper and using it as a microphone and I would sing for anybody that came to her house and they would give me quarters and so it was like my first gig and um, I just I have really fond strong memories of that time and feel like that that was like a huge influence on the sound that I make now. There are five songs on this EP and the first song is a song called Sweet Sweet Love which features my four-year-old Grace and um, that song was actually inspired by Drew. Um, Drew Ramsey and Shannon wrote co-wrote the song with me. The whole idea of the song is just like, it's just love and it's it's fun and it's free and it's just easy breezy, good time, love song. The second song on the album is Well Enough Alone. It was written by Deanna Walker and Rick Beresford. And uh, the song is just about, you know, people trying to mess with you when you're already taken. And um, I used a lot of my grandmother's favorite sayings, like a hit dog's gonna holler, and well enough alone, and little things like that. So this was a fun, very fun song too. The third song on the record is a song called Anything But Yours, which was inspired by my husband. Um, I wrote it with Shannon Sanders and Drew Ramsey, and it's just, it's a love song, kind of a sweet, little sexy love song from a husband. Definitely a little bit more um, jazzy, soulful than probably anything that I've ever recorded before, but it was super fun and I love the song. I love to do it live. The fourth song on the project is a song called Love On You. And I wrote that with Britton Newbill and Aaron Rice. And um, this was another one of my grandmother's sayings that turned into a song. And this is like a, a love song. A la, just a nice like torch ballad sort of thing and um, I love singing this one live like this is one of my favorite songs and um, this last song is uh, a pays tribute to my mom my grandmother and my great-grandmother and it's called Somerville and it just talks about those summers that I used to spend in Somerville and the memories that I have from that time and just you know, thanking them for helping me become the woman that I am. So that's the project in a nutshell, and it it's kind of covers all facets, love songs and, and family songs and fun songs and slow songs. and You kind of get a nice little mixture of things with the project, so I'm excited. Oh, my heart is still.